This is Lettuce Eat. I'm Suzanne Ridgeway, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a delicious, easy blueberry pie. We're going to make the pie crust from Bisquick. Another great way to use a box of Bisquick. It's not just for pancakes. Not a sponsor. I've had it in my home forever. So did my mom and so did my grandmother. It is a true friend for your kitchen. And I get the big box from my bulk store, which is much cheaper than the supermarket with the little tiny boxes. So next time you want to get a box of Bisquick, check out your BJ's, your Costco's, your Sam's Club for your best price. You know your prices when you shop? Shop close together. Save yourself money. Before we get baking, look for that subscribe word and tap on it. Don't forget to smash on that bell, drop the legend down so you can personalize it to your preference and not miss a single video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get baking. First thing we're going to do is preheat the oven to 325 degrees for the pie crust. And I made sure that the oven was completely wiped out. I'll be doing a full oven cleaning soon. I'm going to let this preheat. I'm going to grab some eggs. I already have the sugar and the milk and we're going to make the pie to crust. To make this delicious blueberry pie, you're going to need about two cups of Bisquick, some of the blueberry pie filling or fresh blueberries, whatever you have, three eggs, a cup of milk, and a cup of sugar. Start by cracking your eggs. I'm going to get all three cracked and then we're going to whisk it and add the sugar and whisk the sugar. Gradually fold in the sugar. And once the eggs are whisked, I'm going to add the Bisquick. Go ahead and add the Bisquick. I'm going to eyeball in two cups. I love how it looks like an ice cream scoop. The flour when you dump it out. Take your fork and you're going to form it into a dough ball, gradually adding in the rest of the sugar. I'm not going to add a full cup, I don't think, because that just sounds like a lot. I'll put some of the sugar in the blueberry pie filling. There's a channel that binge watches and watches my channel all the time, Mom of Four Boys with Rachel Davis. Please go over to their channel and check out their awesome videos. It's about family life and they're a diverse channel with lots going on like my channel to keep it fresh and interesting. And subscribe to their channel please. It would mean a lot to me. She recently joined my group on Facebook. And all that information's always in my description box down below. You just gotta scroll down a little bit to get to the information, as well as my Facebook page. I'm going to start gradually adding the milk, continuing to mix. I'm going to add a little more Bisquick, because you don't want it too wet. I'm going to pinch the dough down onto the pie plate 
in a separate bowl, we're going to make the top for the blueberry pie. I've never made a blueberry pie before, and I wanted to do it with the Bisquick, because there's so much you can do with this dough. It is truly a friendly box to have in your kitchen, like the Jif products. I've loved Jif cornbread my whole life, and their blueberry muffin mix. So I added in about two tablespoons extra Bisquick. So that's two cups and two tablespoons. I'll put the exact amounts in my description box so you can duplicate the recipe and prep it and make it any way you wish. This is easiest for me with limited counter space. The dough is ready to knead down. I'm going to press it down so it covers the entire pie plate. I've got my hands flour. That's how my grandmother did it to keep the dough from sticking. And you're going to push down the dough as flat as you can into your pie dish until you make a well for the pie filling. Now I didn't use a whole cup of milk or a whole cup of sugar, but I'm going to add the sugar to the blueberries, make them a little sweeter. Just a little doughy. I'm just going to adjust it with a little more flour. Wash my hands in nice hot soapy water. Once again, I wash my hands multiple times throughout the videos, especially when cooking. This is a perfect amount of flour now, and what I love about this is the flour will mix in with the other flour. Oven is now preheated, so we're going to quickly finish this. Work on the pie filling and the top of the pie. It's almost like doing pottery. A lot of people probably never seen it made like this, and I apologize, but this is best for me. My kids are going to be really excited. I have a fresh homemade pie for dessert tonight. We do like Marie's calendars, but they're getting expensive again. You want the pie to reach over the lip so you can attach the top part. I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to put it in the oven. Go ahead and add the pie crust to the oven, directly in the center of the rack. I went ahead and poke the pork holes in it. something dead. I'm going to get that so it doesn't smoke. Just be very careful when around a hot oven. Time it for 12 minutes. Then we're going to let it cool down a little bit and add the pie filling. I'm going to clean up the counter. And then get ready to do the pie filling and the I'm top. Clean this up. I like to show behind the scenes. You don't want to start a new section of what you're doing with a dirty surface.
pie crust. I sampled the pie crust and it tastes really good. So I'm pleased. The rest of your sugar and dump it in the bowl. And then we're going to add the pie filling and mix it up. And I'm going to set it aside and do the top. I love the cans that pop from the top. It makes it so much easier. Make sure you have a wooden spoon handy because it is thick and hard to get out of the can. Lucky Leaf is the name brand that's been around for a very long time. Go ahead and mix all the sugar with the blueberries. That was about a quarter of a cup. Now we're going to set this aside for when the pie crust cools down. I'm going to add two more cups to this quick. For the top. Add some more milk and a couple more eggs. Crack two eggs for the top part of the shell for the blueberry pie. There's a few minutes left on the pie crust, and as soon as that's done, we'll take it out together. And that toaster just popped. We're going to mix this up, let the pie crust cool way down before we add the filling. Put the pie top on, and then put it back in the oven. Go ahead and add a little bit of sugar at a time, like we did the first time. And the milk. I'm going to use a full cup of milk. A full cup between both top and bottom of the pie crust. That time I didn't mix the eggs and I should have. I'm going to get it until it forms into a dough ball. Adding all the ingredients. Making sure there's no dry dough in the bowl. I'm going to finish mixing this up, and then we're going to come back and knead it together. Clean counter surface. I'm going to work the dough so we can cover the pie. My pie crust is going to cool way down, and it bubbled up just a little too much, but it's going to be workable still. I poked holes in it, hoping that it wouldn't do that. I might have put it in too long. This should be a perfect size for the top of the pie. I don't know how to make fancy braids like some people do. I would love to learn how to do that kind of stuff. I've been practicing baking for a long time and getting okay at things. That is the perfect size for the top. I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to see what I can do about the pie crust now that it's cooling down so we can add the filling to the it. The pie crust and it wasn't that hot so I was able to fool around with it so it wouldn't bubble up so much. I'm going to put it back in the oven and let it finish cooking completely and then adding the pie filling in because I don't want it so soggy at the bottom where you can't scoop it out of the pie dish. like having the cookie sheet down there to catch things. I 
another 15 minutes. There's less than seven minutes. We're going to take a peek into the oven to see how the pie crust is coming along. It's a lot different than a pizza crust with the eggs and everything. Uh, so do a full 25 to 30 minutes on your pie crust before you add the filling, my friends, because you don't want a soggy mess and it may not bake properly or thoroughly. I am learning how to do all of this for your convenience. So you can see trial and errors. I do things as easy as I can for myself with a small kitchen to bring you this enjoyment for yourself. My husband's TV is on. The bedroom is off the kitchen. He works from home and watches TV in the bedroom. The pie crust is looking much better than the first time around. And the pie filling is going to go in. What I did is I made the lip around the pie shell so I can easily attach the top part after we fill it with the blueberries. I'm going to be doing all this over at the stove top, except for the top. That's going to go over to the other counter because it's resting on the flower bed. That pie crust smells like it's done, so we're going to take it out to move things along. Let it cool down for a few minutes and then add the pie filling. And carefully take it out so you don't drop it or break it. I'm going to leave the stove top on. You're going to leave the oven part on because you don't want to have to reheat. That would be a nightmare. And over to the left, I'm going to move crust off the stove top carefully. My blue jay want to eat. I haven't been downstairs yet to feed them. That's right. They can wait. I'll give them some in, in a little bit. I'm going to let that cool down for about five minutes before we add the pie filling and cover it. I'm going to move things along and add the blueberry pie filling. It's cooled down enough. And I'm glad the dough didn't rise any further. I'm going to take your filling And you're going to dump it on in. One step that I didn't do, because I'm not a professional baker or bake all the time, was spray the pie dish thoroughly. But I'm not really worried about it. My kids don't care. They'll eat it. There's the pie filling right into the pie crust. I'm going to take this over to the other counter. And then we're going to cover it. That is cooled way down. I'm pretty impressed. As I said, I'm amateur at this. I'm going to carefully lift this up. Out massacring it. I'm dropping it on to the pie crust. Move this over so you can see what I'm doing. I'll make sure I wipe the bottom down before I put it into the oven so it doesn't drip down to the cookie sheet and smoke. My fire alarm is my biggest fan. Make sure you cover all the blueberries with your pie crust. And then I'm going to trim the top after it's done baking so it looks attractive. I'm going to take the pie crust and put it in like I did, making sure all the blueberries are covered. I'm going to take that fork because I washed it and I'm going to poke holes all the way around. So it doesn't over bubble. It isn't the prettiest pie, but it's going to be delicious. I'm just going to poke all the way down in the top for breathing. 
and then attach to the lip area nicely. We have a full view of the oven. I'm going to go ahead and open up the door, put the pie back in for about 30 minutes. I've wiped up the bottom of the pie plate as best as I could. Now we're going to bake it for about 25 to 30 minutes until it's completely done and golden brown and the pie crust is solid all the way through. Here's a great tip on getting all that flour off instead of just rolling it to your floor. Get your dust pan and then sweep very little up. I'm going to use a piece of foil to wipe all the flour off of the counter and then wash it. No flour on the floor. Here's what the blueberry pie looks like. It's a deep dish one. That is a deep dish pie pan that I have. It looks really good considering I am brand new at baking pies. I am very happy with how it came out. The crust seems to be okay. I'm going to put it in for about five more minutes and then I'm going to let it cool down. I'm already cleaned up. All I have to do is wipe out the stove top. It's just a little bit of soap in the sink. My other tea towels are hanging up to dry so they can go into the laundry basket once they're dry. I always clean in between so there's less to do when it's all done. Under three minutes and that pie is going to cool down completely. And I'll serve it later, and I'll show you a picture later on YouTube as well as the Facebook group and my Facebook page if you're interested. There are links down below. Scroll down all the decluttering projects, and you'll find the links to the Facebook page and group. Select Join for the group and click the Like button for the page so you can see everything that's going on. I add all kinds of recipes from Pinterest, too. And you can join me on Pinterest if you have that on your social media. Same name as the channel here. Let us eat with Suzanne Ridgeway. And click the follow. That is the timer. And the pie is done. That's got to go up to 400 because my husband's going to prep bacon for today. And there is the pie. It is so beautiful. A deep dish blueberry pie. I am very proud. Again, it's not the prettiest pie, but I'm very, very happy that it turned out okay. I'm very pleased. I'm going to keep practicing these pies, and I want to learn how to make bread. So I'll be doing some homemade bread videos with you guys, too. I want to learn how to work with yeast. I've always been terrible at it. I'm going to be painting some tin cans for a great craft idea for some extra storage. That is it for this video. I am an amateur at baking pies. That was my first real pie. I've done a pumpkin once before, completely from scratch, a few years ago. I'll never do that again. I'll just buy the canned pumpkin puree. So much easier than taking it out of a pumpkin and making the pumpkin pie filling. I like the blueberry pie filling a lot. It's Lucky Leaf, a well-known name brand. And before we go, don't forget to go over to Mama Four Boys with Rachel and check out their videos. Very diverse, great channel. Make sure you give them some loving and a like and a subscribe. And before we go, did you tap on my subscribe board? Don't forget to tap on that bell. The bell is important. Click on the legend. Personalize it to your preference so you don't miss any of my videos. And give this video a big thumbs up.